Hello, I'm Patrick Tufts, and this is Your Community at Your Service, a show about Granite United Way and our work in our community. Uh, your Community at Your Service is scheduled to have six episodes this year. This is the second of those episodes, and today we're focusing on a great program, Youth Venture. Joining me today is Nikki Hayden and Brett Carr. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Oh, thanks. <laughs> it's great to have you both here. Nikki, I'm going to start with you. Okay. Can you tell me a little bit about Youth Venture and what the program is? Absolutely. Youth Venture is a program that's just moved into Concord, and it invests in young adults ages 12 to 20 to create sustainable community benefiting projects. Every single project is youth created and youth led, and Youth Venture acts as a catalyst to get them started. We really have them thinking about the community, community critically, finding what kind of problems they have, what kind of solutions they could come up with, and then we invest time, resources, and seed funding up to $1,000 in the solution that they eventually create. Great. Exciting thing about this program to me is the youth component. Absolutely. This is run by young people. They do the planning. United Way and Youth Venture support what they want to accomplish in their community. Brett, can you tell me a little bit about how long has Youth Venture been around? When was it founded? Sure. So Youth Venture was founded in 1996, but it's, it's a spinoff of Ashoka, uh, which was founded in 1981. Uh, so it's been around now. If I do the math, I believe that's uh, 15 years, great. and we're going strong. A lot of great things are happening, so excited to see what will happen in Concord. Great. Now, while Nikki is here in Concord, New Hampshire, you actually came up from Massachusetts. That's right. You're a little bit more established, and you can tell us a little bit about some of the things that are going on down there. Sure. Can you give me a couple of examples of some of the great projects happening right now? Sure. There's some great youth-led social ventures happening in Boston. One of my favorites is called Project B-Boy, and that's where these young people teach breakdance classes to their peers, but they couple that with physics equations. So when the youth are spinning on their heads, they're figuring out how many rotations per minute they're doing, the gravitational forces on them, and this is allowing a lot of youth um, to get up to speed on physics and learn a lot about you know, that great subject when otherwise they wouldn't do that because they don't get to do it with breakdancing. Right. So a young person actually came up with this project. They this wasn't something we made up for them. No, this wasn't something we made up for them. Um, but basically what we did, we took what they like to do, breakdancing, um, and we asked them what they're concerned about in their communities. They said a lot of our friends and uh, other classmates, they aren't really enjoying math and physics and things like that. So we want to bring that kind of education um, to them and put a fun kind of aspect to it. So Great. we coupled their passions with the problem they were concerned with. They came up with that project, and now it's going strong. Again, the best part of this project, in my mind, is the fact that it's owned, thought of, and managed by young people. Nikki, what are some of the exciting things that you've been involved with? I know you recently just moved to Concord, mm -hmm. and we want to launch this in Concord. Yep. But what are some of the other things in New England that you've been part of that you hope to have take root here? Well, New England has a very, very active youth venture network. We have over 250 active ventures that engage thousands of young adults. And one of my favorite projects is called Change the World Kids. And it's actually in Vermont. It was our first venture in Vermont, and it was launched through Granite United Way last year. And it's a very established organization that works on environmental and humanitarian efforts. So while they work on really large projects continuously, like saving songbirds in Costa Rica, they also work on really small projects like getting snow out of the driveway of an elderly neighbor. Mm -hmm. Amazing combination. They're just wonderful, wonderful kids. Great. Brett, why do you think the partnership between Youth Venture and United Way has been so successful? Well, I think it has benefits for both uh, parties involved. United Way, as we all know, invests in children, youth, and families. Obviously, United, or I'm, I'm sorry, obviously Youth Venture um, invests in youth, and it's just a great way um, to get those youth involved in their communities, just like United Way is, or involved in many aspects of their community. Um, and these youth can, you know, start up their venture to address problems that they're concerned about. So you can have multiple youth addressing multiple issues in the community, and that's kind of similar to what United Way does, just on a larger scale. Um, so it's a nice mesh and nice fit. Um, also, you know, the, the community and the funders, they like to see the young people. They pull those heartstrings. They make good things happen. And, you know, they can make some uh, inspiring things happen. So it's been a great partnership all around, and now we're moving on to 15 United Way Youth Venture programs across the country. That's outstanding. From the United Way end, I can say Youth Venture is a great fit. We are really focused on education, health, and income. And the projects that are thought up and the examples that I've seen 
really do touch each one of those. Mm -hmm. uh, both of you guys are, are pretty young folks. Mm -hmm. um, what led you to this? I mean, what, what about youth venture made you want to uh, pursue this and work with young people? Nikki, let's start with you. Um, a lot of it has to do with if I, if I had heard of a program like this when I was young, I'd love to have done something like this. Great. That it's such a wonderful opportunity. It's such a collaboration for even the kids. We, give, we talk about seed funding. This is non-competitive grants. Mm -hmm. So these kids aren't competing with one another for money or for funds or to get the most praise. They're working together. And that youth-led aspect and that collaboration really creates some great projects. Perfect. Brent, how about you? Wow, that's an interesting question. Um, I was just really engaged as a young person, um, but I didn't have Youth Venture. <laughs> I didn't have anyone who was willing to invest and give me $1,000 or up to $1,000 to make my dreams for uh, social change come true. So I just was really attracted to Youth Venture, and I'm a youthful person myself. Yep. Thanks for you know, acknowledging <laughs> that. And, but uh, so I work well with young people. I like to be inspired by them every day, and they definitely pull my heartstrings and do a lot of great things uh, and make me happy when I go to sleep about my job. Being happy is really important, whatever you choose to do for a job and knowing that you can work with young people. And, and again, to have young people think up these projects and bring them to application mm -hmm. is really outstanding and it will benefit them in their entire lives. Nikki, one more time, how long have you been with Youth Venture and how did you find it? Well, Youth Venture, I am an AmeriCorps VISTA member, so that's a volunteer in service to America. That means that I signed a contract to work on a project that was close to me and that they thought I would do a great job. And so it's through the Corporation for National and Community Service. So I signed up last year and I worked in the Upper Valley to work on the program through Granite United Way as well. And then come this summer, I agreed to stay on, but I was asked if I would be willing to come into Concord that we thought it would be a really great fit for Concord's environment to see if Youth Venture would work well. Great. Brett, how long have you been with Youth Venture? I'm running on three years. Good. So I've had my, I've been in the game for a while, and it keeps getting more interesting every year. <laughs> That's great. And again, when we come back to the show, we'll be able to talk about how Massachusetts has done some really interesting things that we want to aspire to here in our local community. We do have a clip that we want to show, which gives you a little bit more detail about Youth Venture. We'll show that. We'll come back with Brett and Nikki, and we'll talk a little bit more about the program and specifically what we're trying to do here in the Concord community. So we're going to cut to a video right now. In India, in Jaipur, in one of our sites, there was a girl named Rohini, and she she was, you know, one of the happiest of girls. She used to go to school every day. Um, she used to play along with her friends, you know, just a normal girl in everyday world. Actually, when she was about 12 years old, she stopped going to school, and she, no one knew why. She just stopped. She stayed at home. And when we started to see that dynamic, we were a bit concerned. And um, we finally realized that she had actually entered puberty and had gotten her periods. Her school didn't have any access to bathroom facilities for her to feel comfortable going there and, you know, learning about her sexuality. We actually raised funds to build those bathroom facilities for girls so that not only her but other girls who had dropped out of school came back and were able to feel more comfortable in learning with their peers. Um, we initiated self-respect and um, body image sessions in that community which is, was huge because you know it's that topic is really taboo. So just to see that happen and to see that girls are starting to feel more confident about themselves, about their bodies, about their ability to go to school was really inspiring and empowering. That's what we're trying to inspire, a global grassroots revolution in the way that not only society perceives girls, but the way girls perceive themselves. My name is Sejal Hathi and I founded Girls Helping Girls. Human rights contains an amazing ideal. Human rights talks about Everyone should be free. So romantic, but so real in this century, in this generation, where we have a chance to gather together, where we have a chance to communicate to each other for once. It never happened in our, in our history. Now we have a technology to see each other smile and say, that's a human too, just like me. And I think that is a fundamental part of creating a fabric of a new humankind, that we're seeing each other once and for all as one humanity. We have a chance to create something new, and human rights has to be that foundation for the new chapter in our human history.
My name is John Kilem and I study Human Rights Live. Young people working all over the world are things that are extraordinarily similar. You can be cool. You can be as cool as a Diddy. You can be as cool as a Nick Cannon, a Jay Z. It's about growing and it's about learning how to be with people. It's about learning how to manage a team. It's about learning how to be in a team. Once you start talking about your dream, once you uh, you know, start uh, presenting your dream to people, you get very, very passionate about it. Then there's no looking back. Young people are already doing it. They're already taking action all over the world. You know, doing good, creating change, is a global initiative, um, and that it's defining our generation. 